Joining us today on The Blend is Jessica Tremontana. She is the Community Affairs Manager, Consumers Energy. Also, Kirsten Bro. she is with the Greater Lansing Food Bank. Thank you both for showing up today. Thanks Thank for, for having, having us. us. Jessica, talk about Consumers Energy working with the Food Bank, Greater Lansing Food Bank, to collect donations for those people who are in need. This is going to be something on November 16th. What kind of items are you collecting and why? So we're looking to help support the Greater Lansing community. Yeah. Um, we're uh, partnering with the Capital Area District Library as a drop-off location. Oh. Um, the Greater Lansing Food Bank has an amazing reach. Um, we just wanted to make sure it was accessible for people to drop off. So if people on November 16th between 11 and 2 o'clock want to drop off any type of food items, we will happily collect them. So we're looking for dried goods, cereal, soups, canned items. Um, no glass. Even, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll accept glass, but we can't accept homemade items. So okay. if someone wanted to drop off jam oh, okay. or something like that, we couldn't take that. But if it's purchased at the store, we could easily oh, take that. So okay. we would happily do that to help feed so many communities and counties across mid-Michigan. Is this at any Capital Area District Library? Uh, just the Capital Area District Library that's downtown. So okay. in downtown Lansing between 11 and 2 o'clock. And if anyone drops off a donation, we are going to give them a coffee or a donut. So the coffee's from Foster Coffee nice. and the donuts are from Strange Matter. Oh, fantastic. Great. <laughs> now, Kirsten, talk about the Greater Lansing Food Bank's impact and how many counties you serve. So the Greater Lansing Food Bank serves seven counties in mid-Michigan. We serve the Tri-County area as well as Claire, Gratiot, Isabella, and Shiawassee oh, County. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's <laughs> a huge reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this year alone, we've already distributed almost 8 million meals to people in need across that service area. That's staggering. I don't think people <laughs> understand the level of need that exists in our communities. Mm -hmm. And it's it's the gamut. It's, it's people from a variety of incomes that need help. Oh, absolutely. And I think COVID-19 showed us that, that anyone could need our assistance. And it might be for a week, it might be for a year, and we just want to be there whenever they need it. Yeah, and that's, I guess, something that I don't think what we think about often is that maybe it's just once once you need yeah. to go and maybe it's for a couple months you need some assistance mm -hmm. until you can kind of get things moving forward and that's why we have those services in our community to help uplift each other and help support each other to be healthier community members because we got to keep our kids healthy too you got a lot of kids we're feeding right yeah, absolutely there's almost 18,000 kids in our service area that are going hungry and so we couldn't do it without the support of our community members too and so many people who have needed our services come back later to give back to us and pass <sighs> that forward Word. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you both for the work that you do. Thank you for having us. Yes, it's our thank pleasure. Thank you so yeah. much. You guys can donate Capital Area District Library, downtown Lansing, Tuesday, November 16th. Drop off your food items are going into our community. 